हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई होप सो ऑल आर गुड एंड ऑल थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो गोइंग गुड एंड वेल आर यू फॉलोइंग माई चैनल येस प्लीज फॉलो दिस चैनल आई एम डूइंग द बेसिक आई एम टेकिंग द बेसिक नोट्स फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू इट्स बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू इन क्लास सिक्स ऑल्सो एंड फॉर कॉम्पिटिशन एग्जाम ऑल्सो बिकॉज टोटली एन सी आर टी पैटर्न आई एम फॉलोइंग सो प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल सो लेट स्टार्ट बॉडी मूवमेंट्स येस्टरडे वी विल फिनिश अप टू जॉइंट्स सो नाउ टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट्स टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट्स सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज मूवेबल जॉइंट अलाउ मूवमेंट बिटवीन बोन्स एंड हैव कार्टिलेज बिटवीन दैम दैट मीन्स अलाउ मूवमेंट बिटवीन बोन्स The joints which allow the movement between the bones are movable joints. Okay, clear? Yes. So next is main topic is uh, ball and socket joint is under the movable joint. There are four, five. I think so four to five uh, types of uh, movable joints present in our topic, uh, present in our syllabus. So yes, first is ball and socket joint. So yes, look at this diagram. This is the ball. This is the paper slender. and this is the bowl okay so what is the joint what is the work of the ball and socket joint it will work like this in the circular motion the dotted line is the process of the ball and socket joint movement of the ball and socket joint clear to all of you this is the ball this is a bowl open place or you can say empty space okay and it is making a circular motion that you have to round your bone in this uh, round your part of the board in this circular motion also where the ball and socket uh, socket joint present clear that means where ball and socket joint present you will move that body part in this circular motion clear yes so first point of ball and sec, uh, socket joint is the rounded end of one bone fit into the cavity of other bone that means the rounded part of the one bone fit into the other bone cavity that means it will fit into this this is the round part of one bone and this is the cavity of other so second ball part fit into this cavity and that's why it able to move in the circular motion and that's why it's able to move in the circular motion the rounded end of one bone fit into the and uh, cavity of the other bone and allow movement in all direction and allow movement in all directions clear in all direction that is circular motion it is the all direction 360 360 all direction no direction is pending so it will allow the movement in this way in all directions yes second point is it permits a circular movement yes it's obviously clear from this thing that is allow in the all direction that is only the circular motion is there clear example is the shoulder yes this is the shoulder you can move like this in circular motion but you cannot move your stomach in large uh, <coughs> oh, sorry not stomach you cannot move your hip in the circular motion clear so ball and socket joint move in circular motion having 360 degree rotation in all direction movement is possible and uh, rounded end of one bone fit into the uh, cavity of the other bone clear nothing more it is enough for this topic it is enough for this topic nothing more you have to require for this topic clear now come to the second topic so our next joint is pivotal joint pivotal joint where it is found look at this picture the part where our neck is joined with the head the point the joint or you can say with the part joint or the point where our head where our neck is joined the head where our neck joined to the head is known as pivotal joint the joint where our neck joins the head the joint where our neck joins the head clear is known as pivotal joint allow us to bend our head in backward forward right and left this pivot due to this pivotal joint we will allow our head to move in all direction like in back, forward backward right side left side clear so due to this pivotal joint we will able to move our head in all direction and as according to ball and socket joint in ball and socket joint the movement is in circular motion but in pivotal joint movement is in cylindrical bone rotate in a ring 
cylindrical bone rotate in a ring. Clear? It will rotate in a ring shape. But the bone is in cylindrical shape. So please mention, uh, remember the shapes. Clear? In uh, ball and socket joint there is a circular motion only. But in pivotal joint there is cylindrical bone. Cylindrical bone and in ring. Clear? These are two difference between the ball and socket and pivotal joints. So clear all things very well because uh, maybe uh, examiner ask you the difference between these joints. Uh, what is uh, circular motion which joint prefer? Cylindrical bone rotate in uh, ring in which uh, joint? So clear these things and deeply. So again pivotal joint is a point where our neck join with the head. And so due to this joint we will able to move our head in all direction in forward, backward, right and left. Clear? And cylindrical bone rotate in a ring. Cylindrical bone rotate in a ring. And these uh, which uh, joints we are study are the movable joints. First is ball and socket joint and second is pivotal joint. So don't forget that we are studying the movable joints. We are not studying now immovable or fixed joints. It is the last point in this video. But uh, at present we will study the movable joints. First is ball and second and second is pivotal. Now come to the third. So next is hinge joints. Next is hinge joints. Where the hinge joint is present in our body? In the shoulder, sorry, in the knee, in our elbow and between the fingers and the toes. Yes, this is the diagram of the hinge joint. Main thing in the hinge joint is that it allow movement only in one plane. It allow movement only in one plane. Let me give an example. Uh, did you see a uh, hinge of a door? When you pull out the door uh, more times, more than one or two times, if you uh, pull your door again and again, then you will able to see there is a hinge which allow the door to be, uh, come back and forth, which allow the door to uh, make the movement in the direction of back and forth. So hinge joint is same as in our body also. Hinge joint will allow us the movement of back and forth, but only in one plane, but only in one plane it allow movement only in one plane backward and forward examples are elbow joint knee joint between fingers and toes yes between fingers and toes let me give an example of the finger you able to you will able to move your finger in the forward direction or your backward direction but you never <coughs> move your finger at 360 degree that means without uh, changing the plane of this you will able to move this finger only in one plane this side or this side. You will never go the downside plane, upside plane, back for uh, backside plane. Always movement of hinge joint is allowed in one plane. So this is the most important thing in this point. Yes, these topics are very small topics. There are only one or two lines about these topics. So please, there is a difference. There means a lot of difference these. Hinge joint is elbow in our elbow, knee, finger and toes. Bowl and socket, bowl and socket is present in our where? It is in a circular motion in shoulder. Hinge joint in our <coughs> knee. And between we will study the pivotal joint. Where it is present? Pi what is the work of the pivotal joint? No guesses. I am explained before this. So please focus on this. Only one or two lines are there in this topic. Remember these things. Clear? Any doubt till here? So yes, come to the next fourth point. This is our last joint, gliding joint. It allow bones to slide a little. It allow bones to slide a little. Okay, example, bones inside fit and rest. That means the bones which slide little bit. That slide from our place a little bit. By pushing something or by uh, any accident or by any mishapening. That means it allow bones to slide a little. Example, bones inside the foot and wrist. Clear? Nothing important but uh, as example to for a knowledge, gliding joints. Remember these things. Next topic is fixed joints. Bones cannot move at these joints. That means the point where bones cannot able to move from their places. That doesn't allow any movement in them. That joints are known as fixed joints. Example, bone and skull. There is no movement in our skull. We cannot recognize it. Our skull became like this. Like this. So, uh, okay. Uh, don't laugh. I am just doing this for laughing you. 
so that this video will not become so boring lecture is so boring i think so so boring topics example bones and skull joints between upper jaw and rest of the skull clear these are the example of the fixed joints so fixed joint is bone bones cannot move at these joints and gliding joints that allow to slide a little from their places clear and it out in this topic so uh, i think so one line topic is there clear so for today this is enough yes uh, tomorrow we will discuss the further topics clear and thank you